behind the line in three, two, one, go. One qualification match, 43. The robots are moving autonomously. Well, to see how many points they can rack up, moving only on their pre-programmed instructions. 8116 Hatchet Robotics correctly releasing one of their cargo or cubes into the high part of their grid that's scoring six points during autonomous. Both robots teams do appear to be balanced at the end of that period, getting the opportunity to score extra ranking points and points regardless for their team. The scores are pretty close, but that can divvy up throughout the match. Both teams do have currently high ranking rank members. We have an opportunity here to get another high rank match if there's not too much defense. We'll have to see how the teams play out. 3176 having a very unique shooting method. They only have to get so close to the grid and they can just fling that cone in that direction. Eventually, they'll probably go back to clean that up. 8116 Hatchet Robotics sliding back, placing one into the lower part of their grid, scoring two points for their alliance. 7198 making use of their driver's, or sorry, human station in the loading zone. That's where the human player or their teammate outside the field can place game pieces for use in their robot. Most teams are just dumping pieces onto the field so they can get as many things to use as possible. Just over a minute remaining in our match. 7457, Super Duper Robotics making their way to place a cone in the middle of the grid. Let's check on how the links are going. Currently two for the Blue Alliance, one for the Red Alliance. They're gonna need five in order to get that extra ranking point. However, that threshold can be lowered to four if they place enough pieces in the cooperation zone of the grid. 461 is placing a cone now on the top half of their grid. They can score four points for each piece placed up there. Blue Alliance getting plenty of links up there, and we can see the driver station lights will pulse when that occurs. 7198 still in their loading zone, using that protection until it ends here at the start of endgame. 30 seconds during the match, we'll start to see teams migrating away towards their charge station. They're trying to maximize their amount of points by getting that in a level configuration. Some team members are continuing to score pieces for their team, knowing that they have plenty of time remaining to get in a level configuration. The Blue Alliance already has two robots up and are sitting well above and ready to win. The Red Alliance, though, is going to match them with another two robots level. This has been an exciting qualification match. 43. Here are your scores, qualification match 43. And your winner is the Blue Alliance. Winning a score of 139, they get four ranking points for meeting the charge station minimum, filling their grid and winning this match.